Hello, hello, welcome back to Layer by Layer. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your printer for different materials, finding the perfect temperature. So, anytime you buy a material, so let's see here, I got, this is just like, this proof some research, just material. The printing range on this is 200 to 220. Celsius. I don't know if you can read that. You should be able to. But yeah, it's 200 to 220 degrees Celsius. I found out the perfect temperature for that was 215. And now I got hatch box filament. So I want to show you um, how to find the perfect temperature. So I downloaded this model off Thingiverse. This model is nothing really special. There's a bunch of them. Like if I go back, I mean, there's countless different kinds. But the cool thing about this one is you're going to need a slicer that allows you to change settings per layer. So what I'm going to do here is bring in this model. There we go. So here it is. And so we're going to need to slice this. We're going to add our process here. We're going to do this at a one millimeter resolution. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Just to figure out the perfect temperature. Uh, I'm going to set this at a standard infill of 15%. Now, this is Simplify 3D. Um, <clears throat> slicer is probably similar, but basically what you want to do is just be able to add set points for temperature. So if you go over to the temperature tab, this is per layer temperature set point. So if you go to primary extruder, layer one is going to be 215. And we don't actually want that. So... What we're going to do is we're going to open up a sticky notes. Hello? Okay. Try that again. Sticky notes. We're going to bring one in over here. So we are going to prepare to print this guy. And we're going to look here. I keep pressing the middle mouse button. I need to figure out how to disable that. But, so we're going to check out these layers. So as you can see, this is the printer you want it set to layer, not line, layer. And then you can see the bottom here. So this is layer zero to one. And then we're gonna figure out right at, zoom in here. Let's see where this, so right, let's see, see where this divot is? Right in between here is where we want to change the temperature. So zero to 50. And then the next one should be at 100, right there. So every 50 layers is where the temperature gauge, cha gauge changes. So for my hatchbox, it goes from 190 to 210, I believe. So we are going to change these. Now the problem is, is this temperature tower is not really ideal. So... We're going to have to reference this slicer because the numbers on this are kind of wrong. I mean, I could obviously make my own, but um, so every 50 layers is when it changes. So we're going to go into our set points here into temperature. Primary extruder, layer one, we're going to start out at, let's say 200. Okay. Oh, don't do that. Okay. Open this back up layer temperature primary extruder add set point now we're going to set at layer 50 Ooh, 50 we're going to change this to um actually we'll do here we'll do this at 190 layer 50 we will do 195 add another set point this is going to be at layer 100. This is going to be 200. Good. Add set point. 150. 205. 200. And then this is where I'm going to change them up. So we're going to do 206. No, 207, add set point, 209, this is going to be set 250, 
And then our final one, which is going to be 300. This is going to be, we'll do 210 here. And then we'll do this one at 215. Then we're going to press OK. So if we go to prepare to print here, you'll notice that, oh, OK, our top layer is 350. So we're going to go here. I, I thought it was a 300 layer tall model, but I was wrong. Okay, so we can make this 209. This can be 213. Add set point 350 or no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm correct. This, this is fine. I'll explain why in a sec. Okay. So if you'll notice, it will change at 300. So the last change will be at layer 300. We need to change the temperature there and then continue to print. If we change the temperature at 350, it would heat up hotter here and then there would be nothing else to print to test it, if that makes sense. So we are going to prepare to print here. It'll take an hour, not even that long. Then we're just going to name this temp tower and then we're going to keep this open because we want to we're going to keep this open actually we don't even need to because we want our thing here so one 190 layer 50 195 layer 100 200 150 is 205 200 is 207 250 is 210 and finally 300 is 215 so now we'll have this and we'll be able to tell okay this block is 190 this block is 195 this block is 200 this block is 205 this block is 207 this block is 210 and finally this block is 215 and we'll be able to tell based on the quality what gives it the best print